Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. It's been a long time since I've done a face-to-face, -face, so I figured I would come on and say hi and show myself and share a little something that I'm doing. And you might think this isn't an arts video, it isn't a card making video, it's gardening video. Huckleberry Herbs and Art. To me, it is an art. And it's what many of our arts are about, all the flower making and all of the still lifes that we do. This is the same thing to me. It's an art. And it's a good and healthy art, just like the visual arts, just like the music arts are. I love the arts. So, I thought I would share on a gray, cloudy, snow-covered jay in New Hampshire, what we do for gardening can't really go out there with the pitchfork because the ground's like a rock. <laughs> but there is something that should be done. As a matter of fact, it's getting a little bit late, and I thought I would share it with you. Each year when seed catalogs come out, I have to make a decision. Which companies do I want to do business with? And I heard about Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds from a lot of YouTubers, homesteaders, gardeners, etc. And they all have really good things to say about this company and they have a gorgeous catalog. They've already run out of their catalogs, so it's actually getting late to start ordering your seeds. So I found this at Whole Foods, and I contacted the company and asked for permission to share with you a little of this beautiful catalog. It is filled with gorgeous photos, not pictures, photos. So I thought I would share thanks to their permission, a little of the catalog, some of the choices I'm making, the thought processes that I'm going through at this time, and take you on the whole entire journey from the beginning to the end of the story, which there really is no end to the gardening story. I really think so many of us should reconsider some of the habits that we've developed thanks to the way stores are set up and, and things like that. So, I have my glasses, I have my tea, Huckleberry's right down here taking a snooze next to me. Why don't you come on over and take a look at some of the things that I'm looking at and some of the things that I'm thinking about purchasing. And stay tuned because they had a little something else for me to share with you at the end of the video. It's good to see you. Okay, so here's the catalog. The Whole Seed Catalog from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. This is their 2018 edition. And if you don't think that's artistic, then I don't know what is. So maybe that gives you a little clue as to how I see the connections between the arts and gardening. There are great articles with things to learn about seeds and growing, as well as current topics in the food industry, in the farming and agricultural industry to begin with. And why would an artist and a musician or anybody care about these types of things, especially if you don't plant or grow yourself? Well, they have a Seed Diversity Being Compromised article in here that you should check out. I'm not going to name any companies, but let me just bottom line this for you. They do name the companies. Here's what's happening to our food. The seeds are being limited to the ones chosen by certain groups and then they are starting to merge with the people who make chemicals for pesticides. And those two things are going to become the way the majority of people eat. If you're like me, then you already faced, along with friends and family, diseases our grandparents did not face. And eating right and healthy, clean foods, along with supporting the arts, are pretty much what I spend my daily life focusing on. So finding a company and not just buying seeds anywhere or buying plants anywhere and growing your own food, really important to me. And in the middle of the winter, sitting down and really learning some more, planning, even if you can only put a couple of things in a pot, it is worth it for your health, for your family's health, for your joy, and for your arts. All of the pages are gorgeous photographs with information about the seeds, or in this case, the entire potato. So, I suggest that you do what I do. I've made a list separate with the pages of the things that I'm interested in. 
according to the plans that I am considering for this year. And everybody's going to be different with that. I have things that I've tried that I don't want to do again. I have new things such as these fall gold raspberries. I have a pretty good raspberry uh, bush set up going and I get lots of raspberries into the summer and I'm hoping to spread those plants out and grow even more. And now I would like to get some fresh ones coming in in the fall. And this says that these fall gold raspberries are actually debatable as to whether or not better tasting than the spring ones. Here's an area of concern. Peppers are on, I think it's called the top 10 dirtiest list. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but you should be able to look up the most pesticide covered foods in our country. And when I say country, I mean the United States of America. Well, I want to grow my own peppers if I know that they're completely covered in pesticides. And I don't know about you, but I use all kinds of peppers in all kinds of cooking all year long. And peppers can be grown and chopped and frozen to hold over through the winter. Can't have a fresh pepper taste, but you can certainly mix them in with your scrambled eggs and make your salsas and all kinds of things that many people love to do with a not pesticide covered pepper. They're not easy to grow without pesticides, I know, because the bugs get to them, but I try to grow as many as I possibly can, and maybe during the summer I'll be able to show you how I use the row cover hoops to try and keep some of the bug biting, etc., the pests down, without covering it in chemicals. If you're really into healthy foods, kale is something that you are probably buying at the health food store or your grocery store. Leafy greens are easily sprayed and sadly in most places easily grown so you could have your own not pesticide covered kale and make kale chips and put kale and greens into your soups and these are potent superfood type things these are loaded with all kinds of good things for you that help to fight diseases instead of add to your diseases and they have a wide variety of kale this is actually called dinosaur kale and I have put this on my list of seeds that I want to get. I know they grow well in the north, that they last into the cold weather. They're great cold weather plants. We use them for adornments in the harvest time in the fall and if you get some of these pretty purple colored ruffle ones you can decorate your house with them as well as eat them and oh my goodness isn't that artistic as well? How about this for being connected to the arts? So beets, they're not my favorite, okay? But I am ordering some of these because their greens are so healthy and sweet tasting and they can be added to salads and they also can be pickled if you would like to pickle and can. And for the artist, how about making your own dyes? For many of the things that we do in the arts, for those of us that are making cards and sachets and candles and all that kind of stuff there are tons of things that if you could grow them yourself even just a little amount so that you can make them for presents for your family side of that you might actually be able to produce some just plain old food for yourself well that covers all the bases i've got greens coming in for my salads that aren't covered in pesticides i've got things i can pickle and store and save if i like to do that and I can take this really powerful, colorful dye and apply it to my arts. See how I say that it's all connected? It is all connected. This is artistic to me. And this is healthy, wonderful, joy-filled living. Get outside, grow some things, eat some of them, support the people who are trying to keep our food stock healthy, fight off disease, teach your family, your grandchildren, the old ways and how to do things. Make some dyes, be artistic with it, and have a full healthy life. So one of the herbs that I want to focus on that you can make teas with that have all kinds of connections with uh, healthy choices instead of the anxiety filled people in our culture today choosing alternative methods. Chamomile is known for its ability to cause a calming effect and it smells so sweet and so delicious the fragrance is just wonderful and you can make teas with these and you can make presents for your friends or maybe you want to start a business and make some chamomile tea bags that would be great too and very supportive 
if you're going to buy it from companies like this to get it started where you have some sort of security that it isn't all GMO, genetically modified, covered in pesticides, sold in bulk at really inexpensive prices. Here's the biggest thing. Everybody in America should be able to afford healthy food. And if we all start supporting companies that promote those ideas, then even the poorest people, who I am very concerned with, unable to go to a high-end store and buy expensive organic food, if we all go back to our old ways and become more regional and things that grow in our area and support the people in those areas and start to grow and support companies ourselves, grow our own food, make our own products with them, be artistic, creative, beautify our homes, then we're all headed in a much better direction than at least I personally and many people that I watch on YouTube and study and spend time focusing on myself. Well, we have concerns. This is a way to combat them. Before I say goodbye, here's the giveaway info. Baker Creek has offered to give one of my viewers seeds valuing at $48. That's great. And I'm not an affiliate and I'm not getting anything for this. All you have to do is leave a comment below. Tell me what you're going to be doing in your garden new this year. And I'll randomly choose someone to be the winner over the next few days. So I hope you will consider checking out Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And I'll be back with more art stuff and more garden stuff. Because this is all connected with our health and our happiness and our family life. This is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.